Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Braniff, and today I just wanted to share with you guys my sort of everyday natural makeup look. This is the look that I do when I want to feel like myself, but a little bit more enhanced. Um, I don't want to do a bunch of eyeshadows and complicated things. I don't want to wear any foundation. Uh, this is no foundation, just like I said, feeling sort of summery and like myself and hopefully uh, keeping my makeup from melting off my face in the summer heat. It gets very hot here, very humid here. And so I just don't like having a ton, a ton of makeup on, but I still want to look awake and pulled together. And for me, this makeup look takes me five minutes to do and I'm out the door and ready to go. So if you want to see how I do my natural makeup, some of these things may work for you, they may not, but if you want to see how I do it and what works for me, then just keep watching. Okay, so I do have some lip gloss on, which I may wipe off because it's a little sticky, um, and obviously I have lash extensions, so I don't put on any mascara. Summertime is my favorite time to have lash extensions because it really makes my whole makeup process so simple. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this Lumi Glotion, and I have it in the shade 902 Light Glow for my fair skinned ladies. I'm really just going for a very glowy, fresh, not heavy at all makeup look. I just wanna feel uh, alive, but, um, but not like overdone, especially with face makeup and stuff like that. So next up is eyebrows. I've shared about this before, but I use soap brows. So it's just this little container of soap i'm certain you could use any soap eventually but this has lasted a really long time i've just got my little spoolie here and i take a little bit of max fix plus and spritz the spoolie and then run it just like that just kind of a little bit into the soap and then what i'm going to do is just push not like crazy hard but fairly hard um, to lift my eyebrows. I want that kind of feathery, feathery, more naturally fluffy eyebrow look. Um, and really you're just kind of like smooshing them upwards. This is just what I like to do. This may or may not work for you and your eyebrow shape, but I really like a quite fluffy, thick eyebrow look. And I find these do kind of settle down a little bit, but the other little trick I do to get them to stay in place is just take the metal shaft of a brush and kind of plaster them even more. Okay, I'm gonna let those dry just a little bit before I add any more product. Like I said, I'm not an expert. This is just how I do things, so it might all be wrong. It might all be wrong. Ow. Funny bone. Never funny. All right, next product I'm gonna use is this Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the light to medium shade. I just got a brand new one because I ran out of my other one and I love this stuff. I seriously notice a difference in my under eyes if I forget to use it. It's just a favorite, a favorite. I just take a little bit and put that under here and this just goes on under your concealer to help cover up dark circles and brighten. Um, underneath your concealer. I really, for me, I'm just trying to work in thin layers, um, very, very thin layers, just to kind of get the overall look I want. I don't want to like jump in with a bunch of cakey products, especially um, in the summer and in the heat. Uh, next, I'm gonna take just a little bit of this. It's PYT Beauty um, All and Nothing Concealer Stick. Uh, I got this to try under my eyes, but it was way too drying. So I will usually just use this to cancel out some of the veins and um, redness and stuff on my eyelids. So just put a little bit on there. And it also serves as a good base for eyeshadow if you were gonna do a bunch of eyeshadow, which we're not today, but um, it's a good base for eyeshadow. It kind of takes the place of my MAC paint pot. And yes, I just use my fingers and smudge it around. And it's probably not good for my wrinkles, but as you can see, I don't care. 
For my eyeshadow, I'm going to use a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. This is in the color Caramel. I have a few different, I've just really fallen in love with these like stick eyeshadows, these creamy stick eyeshadows. I have a couple from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, there are, this is one from a set of mini Laura Mercier ones. I believe that there is a set of these in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, the smaller ones. Um, so I'll link that down below because I would highly recommend grabbing those. But I really like cream eyeshadow, especially this is just a matte brown color. There's no shimmer. It's a very, very light kind of, well, it's called caramel, but it's just kind of a light taupey color. And I just put a little wash of that on my eyelid um, and then smudge it in with my finger. I mean, I could probably do this makeup look in the dark with no mirror, because it's just that simple. And then I do kind of just bring it up a little bit into the crease, just so it doesn't have any harsh ending lines. I'm now gonna go in with a little bit of the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, and this is in the shade Blonde. Um, I don't have much <laughs> left in this, so I'm gonna kind of swizzle around a little bit. And I'm just gonna go over my eyebrows with that. Sometimes I will also use a pencil. It just really depends on how much brow I feel like that day. But for the sake of today, I'm just gonna do this. I don't think I'm gonna do any pencil today. Like I said, I like kind of larger, fluffier eyebrows, so that might not be your cup of tea, you know? Um, this is also the point at which I would just put on some mascara, but because I have the lash extension, I don't want to put on mascara. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna hop in and do the rest of my face, which again, for this very easy look, what I kind of like to do for these kind of no makeup, very natural looks, what I like to do is not wear any foundation and just kind of utilize my concealer wherever I need it. So this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer in Light Cool. And uh, I'm just gonna put some of this under my eye. And then I usually also put a little bit around my nose where it's red. And sometimes, especially cause I just waxed last night. So my skin's still a little bit sensitive. So I'm gonna put that and then just blend it in with my beauty blender. And again, this look is not meant to be flawless. It's not meant to make you look like you don't have, uh, I want my freckles to show through, my wrinkles are showing through. Um, I don't currently have any breakouts or anything, but it's not meant to, uh, to be a, and sometimes I just like to use my fingers over the top of it too, by the way, because the warmth really just melts things into the skin. Um, I just want it to really just look like a fresher, more awake version of myself and not, um, a bunch of makeup products. And then we're gonna do a little bit of bronzer. Um, I've really been liking this It Ombre Radiance bronzer. I feel like the tone is pretty good because I am pale and I also have a pink undertone. Sometimes that yellowy bronzer can, uh, or if it's too, if it pulls too orangey yellowy, it can make me look like I have jaundice. <laughs> um, <laughs> So not a good look for me. I'm not gonna do any like heavy contouring or anything. I'm just going to, I kind of just like dab this around a little bit so I get a little bit of the highlighty sparkly. Um, and then I just take a big fat brush like this and I start up high because I want to concentrate the most of that up here. Um, and then just bring it down onto my cheeks a little bit. Again, I don't wanna like go crazy with it. Pull it up on the forehead where the sun would naturally make that a little bit more bronzed. And then I bring it down here just to make sure you can see a jawline. Okay, the other thing that I've started doing this summer specifically, because I have let my face get sun, which I didn't used to do in the past, I don't know. I'm sort of just kind of getting to a like, I don't wanna say I don't care, but I also like having my summer freckles. So I've let my face get a little bit of sun. So I do have my summer freckles and stuff. But the thing I've started doing is, I don't necessarily love the look of like all this bronzer here and then plain here. Because when I get sun, that's not how my face looks. So I've started taking just a little bit of it and bringing it like this. Um, so normally, you know, I would just kind of contour the sides of my nose a little bit, but bringing that bronzer, not up under my eye where it would make it look like dark and like I have dark circles, but on those parts of my cheek right here, which would, um, which would get 
bronzed in the sun if my face was you know naturally tan from the sun so just adding a little bit more in there and I end up liking how that looks I feel like it looks a little bit more natural and doesn't look um, so much makeup -y, if that makes sense so just a little something that I add um, and then I jump in with a cream blush this is the pixie on the glow blush uh, they just sent me a really cute PR package with some cream eyeshadows, which I meant to use and I forgot. Shoot, that's okay, I'll use them later. But I've gotten quite a few products from Pixi and I have loved them. Uh, this is literally the only blush that I have been using. I think I have two other blushes in my drawer and I haven't touched them because I love this. So it is a tinted moisture stick. So I take a stipple brush, I think this is an e.l.f. Um, I don't know. It's a duo fiber stipple brush that obviously needs to be cleaned. And I get just a little bit of that on there and then just dipple it on just a very little bit. And this color looks intense like this watermelony color, but it's not and it's perfect for summer. And I really, really like cream blushes, um, particularly for my dry skin and in summer and really in all the months, but I really like cream cream blushes. So the last thing would be highlighter. I have to be honest with you, I haven't really been using much highlighter lately. Uh, mostly just because I, I'm using a lot of like lotions and stuff like that, like the, the L'Oreal lotion that has glow in it. But this is a Glossier, um, it's called Haloscope and it's in the shade Quartz. It's like a highlighter stick. I don't wanna rub it on and disturb the stuff that's underneath. Um, but again, this is a cream product. So just sticking with that cream product vibe. I'm just gonna kind of put that a little bit here on the high points. Uh, just to give me a little bit more, a little bit of a glow. A little bit of something something. So the last thing is to address what I'm gonna put on my lips. Now, if I'm just chilling around the house and not doing anything or whatever, I will just use something like this, some kind of, uh, this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but I like it for all the time. But if I'm going out or if I'm gonna film something or whatever, then I'll put on a lipstick. And I just picked up these two from L'Oreal. These are from the Color Riche Plump and Shine. So this one's a plump and shine, this one is not, it's just a regular. So this is a coral color. I've really been into the um, oranges and corals and those kind of colors for summer. And this is a watermelon, so it's more of a orangey red color. So this one's a plumping one. I discovered that when I tried it out. So there's not a lot of pigment to these. but it just gives the lips a nice little wash of color, makes them feel good, kind of feels like you've just put a chapstick on, but it's got this little bit of like watermelon tint to it um, or coral or whatever color that you choose. So I really like those lip products. They, they are great to me. I feel like you wouldn't need a mirror. You don't have to fuss with a lip liner. Just throw it on, throw it in your purse and go. All right, so this is sort of my finished everyday, very sort of what feels natural for me. I just wanna look like myself, but a little bit more enhanced. This is the look that I do most of the time. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my relatively quick, natural, feeling-ish makeup look. It's my go-to, it's easy, it's quick, I feel good. Uh, and to me, that's the thing about makeup or any kind of makeup look is whatever makes you feel good that's what is best for you, is whatever makes you feel good and pull together. So this is what does that for me on a relatively daily basis without having to go too over the top. So I hope you guys enjoyed. All the products that I mentioned will be linked down below in the description box if you guys wanna check anything out. Um, but that's it for today's video. I will see y'all again very soon. Bye.